Hello and welcome to Off Key. My name is Allie Branyard. I'm here with my co-host, Shannon Brunette. And today, on our first chapter, we have our guest, Owen Sartori. Thank you. All right, so the first question is, how many hats do you wear? So, like, yeah. do you consider yourself a producer, a musician? Like, what are all your titles in the music business, exactly? Wow. I suppose you have to pick one to specialize and I guess if I had to pick one I'm a songwriter it just so happens that um, I've been able to use the songwriting in and and sort of incorporated other skills the production the engineering um, and then learning how to use those skills to make music for other artists for advertising you know but uh, at the end of the day you know, I, I don't play live that much anymore except for this awesome band I'm in called The Three Best Friends. And I get to play drums, which is... You've been playing drums for a while. I know. I started as a drummer, and then you you um, you decide that you can't write songs on the drums, so then you move on to the guitar, you do the singer-songwriter thing, and that's what I did for 20 years. And then, um, luckily, I found some people who recognized that I, I could hit the skins pretty well still. And it's not just that, too. I mean, you, you, you're playing in Three Best Friends, mm-hmm. and along with both some projects that Ellie and I have been doing, you've been doing some other stuff for F5 where you've been put, put on drums. Well, sure. Uh, so you've been <laughs> on the skins a lot lately, from what I understand. Well, you know what? Thank you. Well, you hired me, so that was that's, <laughs> that's probably why I'm here, too. So it's, uh, um, it's great to be, to be able to do the thing that I love the most, the instrument I love the most, and that's the drums. So I've, mm-hmm. it's, it's been pretty... It's been pretty awesome. When you think about um, writing songs and the different hats that you have to put on, uh, kind of if a client comes up to you, whether you're writing mm-hmm. songs, uh, say um, the next girl who wants to be the next star comes up and says, we need to write some music together and I want to record. Mm-hmm. Uh, the different hats you have to put on, as in putting on a songwriter hat, I'm a songwriter, and mm-hmm. then she comes in and you're a producer, and then, you yeah. know, then your mixer, and can you talk a little bit about that process of kind of being able to go through all that and still say keep the same goal in mind, if that makes sense? Yeah, it does. It. I find it very difficult to take off certain hats. Once you become a producer, you become the most critical of listeners. So I can't take the producer hat off at any time. Anytime I'm listening to music on The Current or whatever it happens to be, I am critiquing the production of, of the song. So when somebody comes in and says, hey, I need, song, I need help with songwriting, in the back of my mind there's already production, which is what sort of instrumentation would I choose? Who would I have playing those instruments if I had my choice? And um, it, the the song, the song writing will be infected by my production needs, no matter what. I do have all those things, and it's interesting that you mention that because in the music industry, if you're not doing a combination of these things, you're you're just not doing anything. That's right. You know, uh, if you don't know how, if you don't have any idea how to write, how do you help others write? So you need to be a writer. You need to be. Uh, a producer, you need to be a manager at times. You need to help people make good business decisions about, hey, you know, what if, can I say fuck on this song? And you say, yes. the, the answer is yes at all Always times. yes. In fact, <laughs> twice. <laughs> Always yeah. yes to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it. Th- we're going we're gonna to edit that out later. Right now, there's hundreds of 13 year old boys rewinding Ellie's last comment. The unofficial slogan of Off Key Always yes to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. But you, but you know, for example, you know, what if this is the single? What if this is the one song, the one song that you, um, you know, can get on the radio? Why would you say fuck if you don't have to? Why, exactly. You know? it, it, sometimes you need it though. Sometimes in songs, I'm like, that makes sense there. Like sure, you just, if if you're planning on slapping an, an explicit language label on your CD in the first place, f- have at it. Use all the f bombs you want. Yeah, true. But if you're, you know, like for example, I'm working with an artist. I've just finished a record for mm-hmm. Stacy Lee, and uh, there's one song where she wanted to use the word shit, bullshit, and you can even say that on TV now. And I, I so I struggle with this a bit. And I said, this is one kick-ass song. You can totally get airplay on this song. 
why take the chance? And she made an artistic decision to say, you know what? It's worth it to me because that's what I felt. That's the anger I felt. That's exactly it. Yeah. That, that's why I think Stacy was right. And, and, you know, it's not like a right or wrong. Like, you weren't wrong by saying it. It's a definite thing you do have to think about is why well, put it that out there. But in the music that I ranked, I always, my first thought is the art side of it. What do I feel? I'm trying to get something across to people. And I was saying, or something like that comes out. That's what I feel at that moment. Mm-hmm. You know, that expresses what I'm trying to say the best I can. Now, if I'm, what you don't want is to write my song, have a song being produced by someone else, and I'm sitting there and the guy goes, you should say fuck in that. Well, okay. <laughs> no, no. <that laughs> like, 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 no, 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 like, no. Like, like, it has to be, you know, part of your art side of it. Exactly. Not, not just That's what I mean. There. Sometimes you just want to say fuck. These are good slogans. Are yeah. you writing these down? <laughs> yes. no, I, I agree. I agree. But like you said, the producer hat comes on, and the producer's job is to make a product that can be sold. At the end of the day, that's what a producer's job is. And if the thing that stops the song or the record from being sold is a poor decision on you know, use of explicit language, then you know, you've got something to answer for, I, yeah. I think. I think. When you have the kind of producer side of it, and you're producing for yourself, in this case, you've done a lot of work for commercials. Yeah, right. And I so- say fuck in every commercial that I do. <laughs> <laughs> that my first draft includes, includes the F word. Fucking come here and it's buy like a fucking Goodwill sale. <laughs> buy a fucking mattress. <laughs> and that didn't work very well. I'll tell you what, when that kind of happens, a lot of people sit there today and know one of the ways you can make money in the music industry is selling your songs to commercials, movies, whatever, soundtracks. Mm -hmm. That's a good way to make some money. You've had some success doing this. Yeah. And um, you've worked with Harley Davidson, you mentioned before. Mm -hmm. You worked with an agency that works with, is it Herberger's? Herberger's, the Bonton chain. Yeah, Yeah, the whole Bonton chain. I was very lucky with that. And, um, you know, and a few other other notables. And one of the things I was going to ask is, what I don't think people understand is not you just write a song, you throw it out there. These guys came back... And they come back to you and so they go, no, we want this. No, we want this. Can you make it more like this? Oh, no, they're very particular because, because you are writing. Not, you're not writing for the ad agency. You're not even writing for the company that the ad agency represents. You're writing for that company's customers. You yeah. need to identify with these, with these people. And you know, what I might really, really dig. So for example, I was asked to do a song and some reference material was the Black Keys and that's fantastic. And I had a blast. I made a couple of songs that were just bombastic, kick-ass tunes. Yeah. Not in a million years would they have used them, sadly, because when they talk about we love the Black Keys as a reference, as a as a as an emotion, the um, there are a lot of emotions that you, that come from a Black Keys tune. I happen to pick masculinity. Oh. <laughs> and when we're talking about Herbergers, you don't... Or, you right, know, or, you don't envision yeah. masculinity. It's not about being a badass. But when you think about it, what Black Key song fits Herbergers? I really don't uh, put two and well, two together there. Well, like Howlin' For You has a great... Oh, yeah. You know, it's got a great groove. And it's it's actually, if you think about it, a love song. People can yeah. identify with that. I happen to, you know, I read the wrong thing. And this is something that you have to deal with in the industry. I, they, I read the aggressive part of it, not simply the groove uh, and just the, the catchiness to it. So I ended up having to write other songs, which is fine because that's that's what the industry calls for. And I, you know, I've got dozens and dozens and dozens of songs now that could be used, but you've got to know your audience. And that goes for anything. That goes for working in advertising, and it goes for any artist that's trying to sell a record. We're going to step away from the conversation for a second and jam out to some tunes. In this episode, we're spotlighting Mike Mangione and the Union. The name of the song is American Martyr. The name of the album is Red Winged Blackbird Man. You can find their new album on Spotify, iTunes, or just give them a Google. I 
I took the low one cause the high road was paying back. Seventeen when I left my home, I was running from nothing. Cigarettes and alcohol and sway to my mood. The ground arise to slap you while you're dancing with its moon. What's to lose when there's no time to think? Sex bathroom had names scratched everywhere. Hard to build a dream on a rotting frame, he said. At least I was trying. 